Hey, 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 everybody. It's Jade. Happy School Sunday, purple people, and happy Sunday fun day to just everybody. Hope you're having a nice one. Thank you so much for cruising on through. We are post football people officially because the big game it's done it's over congratulations a little golf clap a little round of applause for the la rams congrats for winning the big one and of course congratulations to matthew stafford too you know spent all that time in the nfc north with the detroit lions and then you know you ditch detroit you go to la Super Bowl. It's like magic, but again, congratulations to the LA Rams and specifically, of course, congratulations to fellow content creator, and I'm lucky enough to to call him a friend, Payo Time. He's an LA Rams YouTuber, so congrats, Payo Time, on the Super Bowl victory for the Rams. The Ramily, of course. And um, yeah, I really liked uh, the halftime performance as well. I very much enjoyed it. And I'm not going to, I will say it's up there with the performances that I've seen, but it's not the best. I wouldn't say it's the best of the best of the best. I mean, Prince playing in, playing Purple Rain in the rain. Eh, I don't think, yeah, it's pretty pretty good but anyway so I liked the halftime performance as well and the game was just exciting up until the very end too so I was an oh yeah oh, you're not entertained I was entertained yes thank you thank you very much now um if you haven't checked out too I did a little astrological prediction of the Super Bowl as well that's uh linked on my channel I posted it last week it's kind of old hat now but if you want to check that out I made a little TikTok about it so Vikings fans it's official it's official we have a new head coach it happened it's happening, aka it already happened. I don't know why I said aka it already happened. Kevin O'Connell, welcome to the purple, welcome. He was officially introduced on, I think it was Thursday. I want to say it was late morning. I can't remember anymore, it doesn't matter. But Kevin O'Connell, he was introduced to everybody, had the presser on Thursday, taking all the pretty pictures, you know, with the Wilfs and Quezé Adolfo Mensa was obviously there as well. So it's like a new era of Vikings football. How's it going to go? Well, it's very early on, very early on. So I didn't watch the entire thing with Kevin O'Connell, um, but I watched, I listened to the majority of it. And what I, what I, uh, what I, what I grasped, fr grasped, excuse me, from the conversation is basically what they're looking for with the purple or what Kevin O'Connell is going to try to do, KOC, as I think people are going to start calling him. It's all about collaboration and culture. Collaboration and culture. Collaboration, culture, collaboration, culture. Those things are key. Kind of kept repeating those things, but I understand too. And um, the first question too, once, you know, hey, I'm happy to be here. Can't wait to start working. I just want a Super Bowl. Hopefully bring that here, yada, yada, yada. Um, first question, very first question asked by the media. Gotta give it up to Courtney Cronin, who covers the team for ESPN. Straight out the gate, she asked about none other than our favorite quarterback, Pizza Ranch Boy, a.k.a. Kirk Cousins, is he still going to be on the team? What is happening with the elephant in the room, that being Kirk Cousins? Thanks a lot, Rick, for leaving that. Basically like, oh, look at this big deal, and I'm going to leave you with the mess to clean it up. Thanks a lot, Rick. Thank you. Thanks so much. But, um... Courtney straight out the gate asked him about Kirk Cousins and then Chris Thomason who covers the team uh, I believe for the Pioneer Press followed up directly after that so the answer that O'Connell gave was a very very business like answer to me it wasn't oh yes we're definitely keep keeping Kirk and it wasn't oh no we're getting rid of Kirk like see you later of course they're not gonna say that it was very the key word that Kevin O'Connell used in regards to Kirk Cousins I think can all be summed up to this he said that he anticipates anticipates Kirk being on the team now when he said that he also said too that he anticipates working coaching Kirk he anticipates pizza boy being on the team because pizza boy is under contract so anticipates and under contract keywords there keywords meaning to me like how i read that was kevin o'connell he's willing to do what it takes like whatever he's given he's gonna do his best with and 
I like the vibe from him. He he answered questions. He didn't go completely like deep. And there were some questions, especially with Kirk too, not giving a yes or no completely. Um, but he he had answers. He explained himself. He seems to be a really smart guy. Clearly knows football, has played football before. Now, this is his first time head coaching. So I hope it goes well for him. I hope that all of the dreams, all of the, the goals that he has in his mind, wanting to bring a championship to the state of Minnesota, of course, I hope that is what transpires. But it's still very, very early on to see. It's very early on, obviously. Um, he just got introduced. So I think with the Kirk thing, with Kevin O'Connell, he's worked with Kirk before in Washington, kind of kind of knows him. So I think if the team does end up keeping Kirk, then, hey, at least Kevin O'Connell has worked with him before. He's closer to Kirk's age, can maybe do some of that coddling that Kirk kind of seems to need. Like, oh, no, you're doing a great job. Go out there. Butt slap. Like, go keep <laughs> go keep doing what you're doing. You know, Zim's not going to do that. Zim's not doing that. So if the, if the team ends up keeping Kirk, Kevin O'Connell, it seems like he's going to do the best that he can with what he is given. Now, if they get, get rid of Kirk and they trade him, which I also think could be a possibility because from those answers, anticipates he's under contract, like, okay, yeah, he's on the team now. So of course, yeah, he's on the team. So of course we're going to be coaching him. But that still means to me what I took from that. There's still some stuff going on behind the scenes. And if Quaze can do some tinkering, he can do, you know, make some calls and get a Kirk trade done. I think it might still happen. Like, I did not take from Kevin O'Connell saying he anticipates working with Kirk that that means that Kirk is staying. I didn't take that at all. I think it's a fluid situation, very fluid. And um, Kevin O'Connell did talk a lot, too, about Harrison Smith, which I kind of found to be um, interesting. That might be a little bit of a Minnesota interesting. Like, um, Harrison Smith is good, but he would also bring, like, huge trade value as well. And um, did not mention Danielle Hunter either, which is a little, like, eyebrow-raising. Like, hmm, what's going to happen there? But again, it's very, very early in due time. In due time, we will know. We will have our questions answered. But I don't think, and per the Wilfs, too, like, they said this. They, they're not looking to rebuild. And thinking about it, I don't know if the Wilfs will ever be in a position where they are willing to like strip the team down, like get rid of all of the excess and just start like bare bones, like with a, with a Christmas tree, for example, like start, like throw all the decorations away. We're going to keep the tree, but we're getting all new decorations. Like I feel like they're not ever going to do that because it just doesn't seem like, like it seems like they want to win, which is good but it doesn't seem like they ever want to ever be around like tanking like for the vikings to go like what would it be like two in 15 how many games are there at this point but anyway um i'm kind of rambling on at this point but kevin o'connell he's officially the vikings head coach and um yeah i like what i heard and um i will say too that i didn't realize that mensa was so tall because i think o'connell's like six five or something and they all took the picture together and i'm like crazy you're a tall dude dude tall dude too <laughs> not that tallness matters or anything like that and then i was also reading on twitter that um I think a lot of uh, ladies' hearts are aflutter by the new head coach and the new general manager. I mean, looks aren't everything. Of course, they're good-looking dudes, but, I mean, yeah, it's definitely kind of a stark opposite from Rick Spielman and Mike Zimmer, and if that's what the Wolves wanted and if that's what they were going for, it seems like they got it. And now that, you know, the we've been introduced and it's official with GM and head coach, head coach, now it's time. Now it's time for them to put the money, their money where their mouths are. All this change, well, I guess they didn't say change. Maybe they, did. well, I don't know if they did. Collaboration and culture. All right, let's see it happen then. Let's see it happen. Anxious to see, I'm looking forward to it. And even though it's an off season um, for the Vikings and for the, just football in general, for the Vikings, it's an exciting one. I feel like there's news all the time. And um, just with around the league, too, like, I've been hearing, like, Kyler Murray maybe wants to leave Arizona. And, like, I guess his favorite team growing up was the Vikings. So could Kyler Murray somehow find himself in a purple uniform? 
And then I also heard randomly the other day on the radio that um, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Fitzmagic, is possibly going to end up in Minnesota. Uh, okay, that kind of came out of left field. And then I'm still hearing some Teddy Bridgewater rumblings about him coming back to the purple. So in due time. That's one of my favorite phrases when it comes to um, the Minnesota Vikings and when it comes to the NFL and actually just life in general in due time. We will have all of our answers. I feel like there's something else that I wanted to touch on too that I'm totally forgetting about because um, I'm just going no nerd notes today. I'm just free free wheeling over here on this school Sunday but I definitely wanted to touch on the head coach because it's official and um, yeah collaboration, culture, communication, I don't know, there's some other things. So we'll see. We'll see now that it's official. But I'm excited. And, um, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be moves that um, that are made or that are maybe no moves that are made where I'm like, hey, why didn't you do anything? So I'm hoping we're going to see more now because the, the general manager and the head coach for the Vikings, that was a big thing, right? So now we got those two things. So what is next now? Who stays? Who goes? Which purple heads are going to roll? We'll see. I have a feeling not too many, to be honest. Like, I just have a feeling that they think, the Wilfs think that they can just really turn the ship around. And the one negative where I'm just like, oh man, I don't think anything has changed is like, if the Wilfs still are under the impression that Kirk Cousins can lead a team to a Super Bowl. Delusional. Delusional! in my humble opinion, no, no matter, no matter the coach, no matter the coach, if Kirk Cousins is the quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings, this team's never won in a Super Bowl. I've said that from day one, and I'm saying it now, but I don't know why I'm yelling now, but anyway, let me know what y'all think, and thanks so much for hanging out with me, and, um, how many months is it now until, uh, the first preseason game it doesn't matter we got many moons to go but again people thank you so much for hanging out with me let me know what y'all think about the head coach y'all do you're wonderful if you haven't checked out my astrology prediction for the big game even though it already happened definitely check it out i made a tiktok and um i won't tell you the ending i won't spoil it but check it out if you haven't because the planets they never lie people so I'm doing a Minnesota goodbye now. I'm going to go have a great rest of your weekend and have a great start of your week, everybody. And until the next big Vikings thing. But I'll check in with uh, y'all later. So take care and I'll check you on the flip side. Peace out. P.S. Mar. Hi, how's it going? Hello to you and Kitty. She finally emerged. Finally, which I'm very glad to hear about. She finally got some pate, huh? All right. I hope you guys are doing great. Miss you both. All right, everybody, I will check you later. Bye.